We spend months and months finding these people. We fall in love with them. I've had so many emotional tears making the show because what happens is you fall in love with these characters. They are salt of the earth people who have never had a chance at being in the limelight before because they, they're not a singer or a dancer. They're not trying to be an influencer. They're not trying to be a famous anything. They just, they love what they do. They turn up to work every day. That you've mentioned the calluses on your hands. They have calluses on their hands because of the hard mm -hmm. work that they do. And they take such pride in their work. And one of the things that we wanted to do with the format of the show was we spend months and months finding these people. We fall in love with them. And so many shows eliminate people. And so what we've done is we've got two mutually exclusive competitions. We have an individual competition, which is for the toughest of them all. But even if someone gets cut from that individual competition, they compete in a mutually exclusive team competition. And right. so many of these people are used to working on teams as part of a union. Like we have Knuckles, who's a cement mason, who was working right up until she was nine months pregnant. And, uh -huh. and, and they have such pride about being part of a family. And that's something that we celebrate on our, our show. So this is a celebration of that. And right now, I want young boys and girls who are leaving high school, who are thinking about what they're going to do, uh, to be educated, of course, because like I said, education is power. But to be thinking about maybe that the trades would be a really good place to make a living um, they're good paying trade jobs. I will go spend hours in the garage fixing, fixing things, tinkering with things. And, you know, I mentioned my grandfather before some of his tools. He was, a, as I mentioned, a mechanic, an aero mechanic in World War II and a gunsmith. He, uh, he used to do a lot of work on Amazing. repairing rifles and he, he was a target shooter. And so at school, he would put me to work. He taught me how to use a lathe. He taught me how to use all these tools. And one of my, one of my, uh, some of my prized possessions are the tools that came out of his workshop where he had every wow. tool, you know, it felt like ever invented. And like this one right here, this tool belonged to my grandfather's grandfather. He was a wow. cabinet maker and it has like a, a ratchet. It was built in, it was built in the 1900s. And if you listen, still has the ratchet working. You, you can hear it turning. Me, it's amazing. Yeah. And for me to know, and I remember him working with this particular tool, and, and he used to machine his own tools to fit his hand, and because of genetics, my hands fit his, like, his hands. Right. To know that I remember him holding on to this, and then my dad had it, and now I have it, and that this will go to my daughter. This is over, you know, 100 years old. And these are the things that I treasure. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I can't tell you what fans we've become of your show and our show, and we're always fans of yours. Um, and I can't wait till we can all travel again until yeah. I can feed you and everyone else again. Yeah, uh, thank Phil you, Hogan, please. You are delightful. And uh, Phil's show, Tough as Nails, is on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on CBS.